Your body changes in response to the challenges it faces at each stage of your life. It gets stronger and more skilled through your prime years. As you pass a half century, though, it begins to lose size and power. Your brain does the same. It tends to slow down, shifting back toward childhood. But the aging brain is not the child brain. It carries with it a whole superstructure of 30, 40, 50 year old experience through which it filters the world. It's not uncommon as you age to become grumpy, judgmental, rigid, bossy, not interested in listening. Every year there are fewer things to learn and more you already know. As an infant, your brain went through waves of building millions of connections, then ruthlessly pruning away the least used. Every experience was new in early years. There were no habits. Brain cells fired more slowly. Your mind had an internal focus and a dreamy way of thinking. Your developing brain built itself filters based on experience, what worked in the past. Habits organized the way you lived. It was efficient. It allowed you to think and work as an adult. In your prime years, all that experience programmed in your brain's connections controlled even what you saw and heard, how you understood and responded. Your child brain, open to the wonder of new things, was rarely awakened. The aging brain often experiences brain fog. Words you want to say stay just out of reach. You forget simple things and you struggle to grasp new ones. You just can't think clearly anymore. You've lost your vision of what you want and your motivation to pursue it. You just don't feel things as strongly as you did. Rigidity and fog, issues of the aging brain, don't depend only on your age. You've known people whose brains and bodies were old at 45 and others young at 75. The more stress dominates your life, the faster you age, brain as well as the rest of your body. In your later years, the kind of brain you have can make all the difference between just playing out the string and living the crowning chapter of your life. Should you fight to hold on to that habit-driven adult brain that's all about doing? Or should you try to reawaken your child brain with its focus on being? Or could there be a different brain, a best brain for the rest of your life that integrates them both? Can you be experienced and still open to new things? Can you tow a long train of memories and still be looking ahead? Can your mind be sharp and able to lock on as it did years ago? Can you see the glass half full? Why not? People run marathons at 80. It's all about training.